George Williams, CEO of Reliability X, and I am here with the Reliability Sherpa, Mr. Ramesh Gulati. Ramesh, welcome back. Thank you, George. I'm really happy to be here again, talking about <laughs> random <laughs> questions. I know. I love this. Why? I love this segment. This is a fun segment because you never know what's going to come out. That's I right. Mean, we just randomly pick up a spot and and away we go. So. We're going to go in this direction this time. Let's get past the um, the whole intro first. All right, ready? All, All right, right I stop. Stop. Okay, it's early. Oh, my goodness, it's really early. So this one just says preventive maintenance. So I think in the, in the beginning of this, we're just trying to understand maintenance. So this page is preventive maintenance. What the heck is preventive maintenance? Wait, isn't it preventative maintenance? <laughs> Yeah, no. you to be yeah, yeah. preventive. Right. Again, we try to simplify. It used to be preventative, but now we are calling preventive maintenance. Why? Again, when we have asset, we need to do something on it to make sure it's reliably operating without failure. Like a asset may have a bearings, may have a something, gears or something. They have to be lubricated or there's some belt. They have to be aligned properly. All those kind of things, we have to make sure they are doing right or whatever is needed, we have to do. And that's what preventive maintenance program, which really was invented or came around 1950s and 60s. Hey, let's go to the equipment and try to inspect, find out what can go wrong in the accident thing and fix those things before they fail. Before 50s and earlier, we didn't know it. We only thing was new was a breakdown meter or reactive meters. That's what we were doing. So preventive meters kind of help us to do the a inspection to find what could go wrong or what's going bad. Or also if lub if a filter has to be changed or oil has to be added or grease has to be done or some of those things we do. And that's called preventive maintenance PM. Again, the next level as a part of PM or separate is doing a condition-based maintenance, which is a base or condition of asset or component we do the maintenance. So in a nutshell, is a preventive action we do so that asset keep working the way it's supposed to work. I, I, there's not even anything left to say. I mean, you just, <laughs> just spewed it all out perfectly. <laughs> so, it, you know, we've got a vehicle and a car and everybody has a car. Um, let's dive in a little bit deeper because in the preventive maintenance world you get an oem manual tells you to do lots of stuff right mm -hmm. if i own a car it tells me each and every time before i drive it check the blinkers check the brake lights check all my fluids but nobody does that stuff so what's the difference well again i think what we are preventive maintenance we make a checklist of things based on our past history or the people who made that equipment as they, they tell us what are the important things we have to check you know like like your car yes the i mean they tell you hey make sure there's no oil is there i mean there's no oil light the oil is low oil light will come yeah. you have to take care of it right. okay so those are kind of built in the, in the car nowadays but in the your equipment may not so you have a checklist like another good example is you know, when you fly at the plane. When plane stops, every time the co-pilot or pilot has to go down and makes checklist. He has a checklist to check this, checklist that. So he makes, goes through a checklist. Similarly, in fact, in a hospital, the surgeon, before he operates on somebody, he has a checklist of things he does. And after the surgery, there is checklist what they are supposed to do. So this is a great system of checklists to ensuring we are doing the right things on that asset. And that's exactly PM is. PM is an inspection to find what's wrong, what could go wrong, and we uh, make small adjustments or something. We do those things. Yeah, and I think, you know, a lot of folks may think that they're not that critical. Well, oftentimes, organizations will hire someone and when they're new they're the pm tech or the lubrication tech because they don't realize the importance of that role and just how critical that is right you're the first line of defense aside from mm -hmm. data and analytics and iot and all that stuff from predictive maintenance 
you're the first line of defense in making sure the asset doesn't come to failure, right? I mean, the whole point preventive maintenance is to prevent further damage, further mm -hmm. maintenance. It needs oil changes. It needs belts. That's yeah, yeah. maintenance, and they're preventive, but they're wear components. So yeah. the preventive is the other damage. Yeah. Well, again, I think you said it right. All these new people who are coming, we have to, that's another part of our uh, education of training our people coming in and why we do we have a bad habit we have done wrong that we try to put the new people on this we call it not important jobs <laughs> right especially lubricator we try to put a guy a third shift he doesn't get any support to lubricate boy have you seen the motor when they come out <laughs> Uh, the, uh, the bearings is uh, full of windings. The windings are loaded. Windings yeah, yeah. are loaded with the <laughs> grease. You know, yeah. and those are result of those. But we have learned that. Hey, we cannot. Hey, do I that lubricated yet. it. What's <laughs> wrong? What's <laughs> matter with that? <laughs> okay. Hey, there was another example. In fact, I heard somebody say, "Hey, keep lubricating till grease come so out from another." Out. Oh, no. I, <laughs> I just know? went through that discussion with someone. You know, and it happens all the time. You get folks that. It, through no fault of their own, they've been a mechanic for 30 years, and that's how they were taught to do that's this right. 30 years ago. And, mm -hmm. you know, we're not trained to do that anymore. But, yeah, that's it's so critical to learn what the role and the, you know, crit nowadays the critical you, nature of PMs. Nowadays you got a new tool with the ultrasonic gun, you know, with the meter, so you yep. can do right amount of grease. That's the important thing. Hey, great topic. It was great to talk about this. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you so much for your time. As always, Ramesh, and uh, we'll see you next time for another topic. Thank you, George. Awesome.